Hello, this is not a spring chicken. You're probably wondering, why am I wearing what I'm wearing? Because I am so excited because we just got our products from 3M. So guess what we're going to be doing? Is we're going to be doing all this auto repair stuff and demonstration. Okay, so you can see that, yes, you can do it too. They're trying to make it really easy. But in the news today, we're finding out that, let's just say business people around the world are basically saying that they don't want to do business with the United States as long as Obama is president. Ouch. Really? Oh my gosh. Anyway, <laughs> does that have anything to do with it being an election year? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, because they just made the announcement this morning that that these speeches, you know, that they showed last night how anti-woman, anti-minority, anti-black, with their with their veiled racist remarks about the president, you know, and, and and their attacks on people that basically are not as fortunate as they are, that they only support the wealthy. Um, basically, they had the top women, they had the top women in the world that they were in on the business side over at the Republican thing. They had Condoleezza Rice, who basically worked her ass off. Unlike the President of the United States, she wasn't she did she wasn't given anything. She worked for all of it. Mm. And unlike the President of the United States, she told her story about her her father. Actually unlike her and um, and the President's wife, she explained how her grandfather told her in the United States it didn't matter what your color was. If you worked mm. hard you could be you could one day I could they said one day you could work for the President of the United States. And she said, well I don't think he meant um, Secretary of State. I think he meant work for the president, but I'll take <laughs> <laughs> So what is this about business leaders around oh, the world not God, wanting? They're, they're so unhappy with this man. Well, because um, he, the regulations that he's sticking on everybody over here, they have to deal with if they come here to work. They just do not want to put up with it, so they'll go to... China, where there's less regulations, India, where there's less regulations, Pakistan, where there's less regulations, and they know as long as you pay bribes in India and Pakistan that the government will keep everybody off your backside. So oh. they didn't go to Russia to work because the Russians will take bribes. Mm. And Romney Energy Plan aims to expand drilling on federal land. Yeah, because what happened was Obama stopped Obama. Well, we've increased protection since I became president. They stopped drilling on all federal properties, even though the courts ruled. I mean, it's going to the Supreme Court where he has no authority to do what he did. This drilling has stopped on all federal lands, no matter how many times the court system has said you can't do it. He just stopped it because, uh, oh, here's a, here's a, that won't, uh, you know, BS the bullet about he'll, he'll explain to you. One of the big columnists that favors Obama and gets it in a butt kisser said the stimulus program actually did work, it's just that people don't understand how it worked. The President of the United States took the money and put it into the Recovery Act, which meant that he's invested in programs for green energy that no business would ever invest in because the chance of profitability is so slim that no business would invest in it, but only a government would. And isn't that the whole problem? They really don't understand, that's the problem. All the businesses the president has invested in are going under because they don't work because the government doesn't know how to invest and make businesses work. They only know how to make businesses go under. And analysts cut 2012 PC and chip shipment forecasts. Well, you know, I don't understand. The last time I looked, tablets had to have chips in them. The last time I looked, cell phones had chips in them. So the chip forecast should not be down, it should be up. Ah, interesting. And Mike Huckabee to Ron Paul supporters, you lost, move on. Uh, that, that didn't go anywhere because they staged a floor battle. Oh, they did? They, uh, they said, um, last time we looked, we had the second most delegates out there, and we have a right to be here even though Mike Huckabee doesn't think that we do, so... It was not an intelligent thing for Huckabee Ooh. to say because they said, well, he, they, 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 you know, they thought that he was uh, trying to be Barack Obama saying, you know, get over it. We won. You lost. We make the rules. No, oh. that isn't how it works. If 
If Huckabee wanted to make rules, Huckabee should have ran for president. Uh, that's absolutely true. Yep. And is Clint Eastwood the mystery RNC speaker? Oh yeah, they think that he's going to, okay, Clint Eastwood basically, can, he, he is a businessman. Okay, he is smart enough to understand because when we were at Sundance, they were trying to get me to sign a, a petition that basically would place all filmmaking and television production under the auspices of a czar for the president because and only that way could they make the movies and TV shows that would be free of the restraints the Republican parties are putting on them. Well, the Republicans aren't putting any restraint on them. When you tell people like Harvey Weinstein, for instance, or, the, or any of the people that are in charge of making movies in Hollywood, well, we're going to tell you what you can and cannot make anymore. Mm -hmm. That's what the government does. Government regulates. Government does not say, oh, I think it's good for you to make a movie where George Bush is the slave, where George Bush is a slave, and Obama is the oppressive president, and say, please, Mr. Obama, free our free your slave George Bush because he's the only one that can save the world. You're not going to see that happen under a government. Mm -hmm. But you see the opposite happening because we have freedom of speech in this nation, where they can make a movie where they picture Barack Obama as a slave, and the little girl says. Please, President Bush, free your slave Obama because we need him to save our world. Ooh. And Rob Portman to play Barack Obama in debate prep. I, what? Okay, I, 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 all I heard last night, Dennis Miller had a comment about it. He said, anybody remember, he did this for, um, for, for uh, John McCain and we, John McCain got his ass kicked. I think I can go get somebody else. Oh, he was the one that did oh, Okay, it you know why they wanted Portman to be the, why Romney had Portman at the very top of his list? Why? Because Portman is the only person in the Republican Party other than Pawlenty that's as boring as Mitt Romney is. He has uh, no, he has, no he has, charisma. They said he has the charisma of a weak old noodle. Hmm. And Slaughterhouse reopens with promise of new training. Oh, oh yeah, they were abusing Turkey. I mean, you must not. I'm going to explain this again and again and again. There ain't nothing you can do to a turkey worse than cutting a turkey's head off and killing it. Oh. So. And Slaughterhouse reopens with promise of new training. I know she liked that one. She well, liked it twice. I know, because of the turkeys. I know. Well, Los Angeles area sports fans told to mind their manners. I, I, what was that about? Oh, it, it, it's it, it's the political correctness again. It not, I mean, it just they're just getting crazed. I mean, well, you got to, when you go to a baseball game, you can't say, hey, you know, hey, pitcher, you know, pitcher, 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 I'm going out with your daughter, you know. And, or, okay, no, it used to be that way. When I played football, for instance, the guy I I played left out, which doesn't mean you're not playing. It's the position. I stand opposite a guy, and he they say, okay. Uh, you know your sister's going out with me, and I, I say, well, that's nice. My sister doesn't have good taste. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> and, you know, and this is, they would basically, and then you see the fans in the stands booing somebody, you know, we, they don't want you to do that in Los Angeles anymore. Remember, it's not sportsmanlike to say anything negative to the other team. <laughs> that's why BS is a pool is here. And older model Hondas and Toyotas being stolen from Silmar and Panorama City. Yes, says, why? <laughs> you can pick them up in junkyards. Why would you steal a junkyard? Wait a minute. Maybe they're thing? turning them in. Remember they did that cash for clunkers? Like each uh, car no, for... I, yeah, but see, part of it, if you're going to steal a car, get one that's worth more than $1,000. Yeah, it's not. Okay, old cars are worth more for parts than they are worth uh, as trade is. But the problem is, <laughs> if, you, if you're selling, stealing all these old cars for parts, the parts then become worth less with every car you deliver. They only worth anything because the cars are on the road. Well, like, you know, if you're going to steal a car, okay, steal a cheap car or an expensive car, yeah. it's all equal That's in right. the eyes of the law. You can, steal a, you can steal an expensive car and sell the expensive car easier than you can the old <laughs> Um, L.A. Secret Service detail leaves gun unattended on Romney's flight. I know. Oh, L.A. or Louisiana? Louisiana. What's, uh, what? Yeah, I, I, okay, I, I don't know how you can leave your, you're not supposed to take the gun off. I mean, my father was a reserve officer. My father always carried a gun all the time. He never took it off. We used to say, 
You know, they, I, I remember one of the people said, does your father take showers with a gun on? They said, no, we don't have a shower. He goes in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. And Rob po Portman jokes about being passed over for VP. Well, yeah, because he was supposed to have the job because Romney didn't want anybody that would overshadow him. Okay, uh, you, you look at, they said that since they started seeing, um, you know, the vice presidential candidate, he's basically overshadowing Romney because, oh, guy, somebody with a personality. <laughs> and a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, that, okay, that when you give more money to charity than all the other members of the other party in the House and Senate, I, I think that says something about the other members of the House and Senate that are in the other party.